Welcome to our newest episode about Lost City of Atlantis. Subscribe our channel and enjoy. The Lost City of Atlantis is one of the most enduring and fascinating mysteries of the ancient world. The legend of Atlantis has captured the imaginations of people for centuries and has spawned countless theories, speculations, and hypotheses. Despite the many different interpretations of the story of Atlantis, one thing is clear, it has become a powerful symbol of a lost civilization, a utopian society that was destroyed in a single cataclysmic event. The story of Atlantis has been passed down to us through the writings of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. According to Plato, Atlantis was a wealthy and powerful island nation located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which is generally interpreted to mean the Straits of Gibraltar. The civilization of Atlantis was said to be advanced, with a sophisticated infrastructure and a highly developed culture. The people of Atlantis were said to be prosperous and happy, and they enjoyed a long period of peace and prosperity. However, the peaceful existence of Atlantis was not to last. According to Plato, the Atlanteans became arrogant and greedy, and began to conquer neighboring lands. They expanded their empire to the point where they threatened the stability of the entire Mediterranean region. The gods, angered by the Atlanteans' hubris, decided to punish them. They sent a great earthquake and a deluge that sank the entire island of Atlantis and destroyed its civilization. The story of Atlantis has been the subject of much debate and speculation. Some people believe that Atlantis was a real place and that it was destroyed in a natural disaster such as a volcanic eruption or a tsunami. Others believe that the story of Atlantis is purely mythological and that it was invented by Plato to make a moral point about the dangers of hubris and the importance of living in harmony with nature. There are many theories about the location of Atlantis. Some people believe that it was located in the Mediterranean, while others believe that it was in the Atlantic Ocean. Still others believe that it was located in the Caribbean or even in Antarctica. There is no consensus on the location of Atlantis, and it is possible that it may never be found. Despite the lack of concrete evidence for the existence of Atlantis, the story of this lost city has had a profound impact on our culture. It has been the subject of countless books, movies, and TV shows, and has inspired a sense of wonder and fascination in generations of people. The legend of Atlantis has become a symbol of a lost golden age, a utopia that was destroyed by human greed and arrogance. It has also become a symbol of the power of nature and of the unpredictable forces that can shape the fate of civilizations. The search for Atlantis has captured the imagination of many explorers and adventurers over the years. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, a number of expeditions were launched to try to find the lost city. Some of these expeditions were led by reputable scientists and explorers, while others were led by people who were more interested in making money or gaining publicity. One of the most, most famous expeditions in search of Atlantis was led by a man named Ignatius Donnelly. Donnelly was an American politician and writer who became convinced that Atlantis was a real place. He wrote a book called Atlantis, The Antediluvian World, in which he argued that Atlantis was the source of all the great civilizations of the ancient world, including Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Donnelly's book was a bestseller, and it inspired a wave of interest in the lost city of Atlantis. Donnelly himself led an expedition to the Bahamas in 1882, where he believed that he had found evidence of Atlantis. However, his findings were later dismissed by mainstream scientists and historians, who argued that he had simply misinterpreted natural geological formations. In the decades since Donnelly's expedition, many other explorers and researchers have attempted to find the lost city of Atlantis. Some have focused on the Mediterranean, while others have searched the Atlantic Ocean or other parts of the world. However, despite the many expeditions and the wealth of theories and hypotheses, no one has ever definitively proven the existence of Atlantis. One of the challenges of finding Atlantis is that the story of the city is shrouded in myth and legend. The story of Atlantis was originally told by Plato in two of his dialogues, the Timaeus and the Critias. Plato was a philosopher and writer who lived in ancient Athens, and his works are among the most important and influential in the history of Western philosophy. However, even though Plato is a respected and influential figure, his account of Atlantis is not entirely clear or consistent. Some scholars have argued that Plato's story of Atlantis is meant to be a fable or allegory, rather than a literal account of a real place. 
Others have suggested that Plato was drawing on earlier myths and legends to create a new story of his own. Despite the ambiguity of Plato's account, many people have been convinced that Atlantis was a real place and that it was destroyed in a catastrophic event. Some researchers have pointed to geological and archaeological evidence that they believe supports the idea of a lost civilization that was destroyed by a natural disaster. For example, some researchers have argued that the story of Atlantis was based on the Minoan civilization, which flourished on the island of Crete in the Mediterranean during the Bronze Age. The Minoans were an advanced civilization with a complex system of writing, a powerful navy, and a sophisticated artistic and architectural tradition. However, the Minoan civilization was destroyed around 1450 BCE, possibly by a volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Santorini. Other researchers have looked for evidence of Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean, where they believe the city may have been located on a sunken continent or island. Some researchers have suggested that the lost city of Atlantis may have been connected to other sunken cities and civilizations, such as the ancient city of Mu, which is said to have existed in the Pacific Ocean. Despite the many different theories and hypotheses about Atlantis, the search for the lost city remains one of the great unsolved mysteries of history. The legend of Atlantis has inspired countless writers, artists, and thinkers over the centuries, and it continues to capture the imagination of people today. Whether Atlantis was a real place or a myth, its legacy has left an indelible mark on our culture, reminding us of the power of imagination, the mystery of the unknown, and the enduring allure of lost worlds and lost civilizations. Many researchers have attempted to use geology and other scientific methods to locate the lost city of Atlantis. In the 1960s, for example, the American author and geologist Emanuel Velikovsky suggested that Atlantis was located in the Mediter Mediterranean and that it was destroyed by a catastrophic collision with a comet or asteroid. Velikovsky's theory was based on his interpretation of ancient myths and legends, as well as his own research in geology and astronomy. Other researchers have focused on the possibility that Atlantis was a real place, but that its story has been distorted or embellished over time. Some have suggested that the city was actually a colony of the ancient Egyptians or Phoenicians, while others have proposed that it was a lost civilization in the Americas or the Pacific. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Atlantis story is the idea that the city was technologically advanced and highly sophisticated. According to Plato, Atlantis was a wealthy and powerful city-state that was home to advanced technology, including flying machines and powerful energy sources. Some have suggested that Atlantis was an early example of a technological civilization, with knowledge and inventions that were far ahead of their time. However, the idea of an ancient, highly advanced civilization has been met with skepticism by many researchers and scientists. Theories about lost civilizations and advanced technology often rely on speculation and conjecture, rather than concrete evidence or scientific analysis. Nevertheless, the idea of a lost civilization with advanced technology continues to capture the imagination of many people, and it remains a popular topic in science fiction and fantasy. In recent years, some researchers have turned to new technologies to try to locate Atlantis. For example, some have used satellite imagery to search for underwater structures or formations that might suggest the presence of a sunken city. Others have used sonar and other underwater imaging techniques to explore the seafloor in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. Despite the many expeditions and scientific investigations, however, the search for Atlantis remains one of the great mysteries of history. Some have suggested that the story of Atlantis is simply a myth or a legend, while others continue to search for evidence that the city was real. Regardless of whether Atlantis was a real place or not, its legacy has had a profound impact on our culture and our imaginations, and it continues to inspire awe, wonder, and speculation. While the search for Atlantis continues, some have argued that the legend of the lost city serves a deeper psychological function for humans. The idea of a lost civilization and the possibility that it could be rediscovered taps into a fundamental desire for discovery, adventure, and mystery. The story of Atlantis is an archetype of the lost world or lost civilization, a concept that has appeared in myths and legends throughout history. The search for Atlantis has also inspired a great deal of popular culture, including movies, TV shows, and video games. In the 1980s, for example, the popular animated series The Transformers featured an episode called Atlantis Arise, in which the Autobots and Decepticons battled over the fate of the lost city. 
The episode helped to introduce The Legend of Atlantis to a new generation of viewers, and it has since become a classic of 80s animation. In the world of video games, the story of Atlantis has been used as a setting or inspiration for a variety of titles, including the Assassin's Creed series, which features a fictionalized version of the Lost City as a key location. Other games, such as Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, have used The Legend of Atlantis as a plot device, in which the player must solve puzzles and uncover secrets in order to find the Lost City. Despite the many different interpretations and adaptations of the story of Atlantis, the mystery of the Lost City continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. The search for Atlantis may never be fully resolved, but the story of the Lost City remains an enduring reminder of the power of the human imagination and the allure of the unknown. As we continue to explore our world and search for new frontiers, the legend of Atlantis serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still remain, waiting to be discovered and explored. Whether Atlantis was a real place or not, its legacy will continue to inspire us to dream, to imagine, and to seek out the unknown. One of the most famous theories regarding the lost city of Atlantis is the idea that it was destroyed by a natural disaster, such as a volcanic eruption or a tsunami. This theory was first proposed by the Greek philosopher and historian, Strabo, who suggested that the city was destroyed by an earthquake and a flood. Later writers, including the Roman historian, Pliny the Elder, and the Greek geographer, Pausanias, also mentioned the possibility of a natural disaster as the cause of Atlantis' destruction. In the 19th century, the French scholar, Augustus Laplongin, proposed a similar theory, suggesting that Atlantis was destroyed by a volcanic eruption on the island of Thera, modern-day Santorini. Laplongin argued that the eruption caused a massive tsunami that swept over the island and destroyed the city, leaving behind only the remnants of its once great civilization. More recently, recently, researchers have used modern technology to investigate the possibility that Atlantis was destroyed by a natural disaster. In the early 2000s, a team of geologists and archaeologists used sonar and underwater imaging techniques to study the seafloor in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, looking for evidence of a sunken city or other formations that might suggest the presence of Atlantis. One of the most promising areas of investigation has been the island of Santorini, which has long been associated with the legend of Atlantis. In 2019, a team of scientists from the University of Athens announced that they had discovered a lost city buried beneath the volcanic ash on the island. The city, which was known as Akrotiri, was destroyed by a massive eruption around 1600 BCE, and its ruins have been preserved in remarkable detail. The discovery of Akrotiri has led some researchers to suggest that the story of Atlantis may have been based on a real place, and that the city's destruction by a natural disaster was the inspiration for the legend. However, others remain skeptical, pointing out that there is still no concrete evidence linking Akrotiri to the lost city of Atlantis, and that the story of Atlantis may be nothing more than a myth or a legend. Regardless of whether Atlantis was a real place or not, the legend of the lost city has had a profound impact on human culture and imagination. It continues to inspire people to dream of lost worlds and undiscovered treasures, and to explore the mysteries of our world and our past. As we continue to search for answers and explore new frontiers, the legend of Atlantis will continue to captivate and inspire us, reminding us of the power of human imagination and the enduring allure of the unknown. Another popular theory regarding the lost city of Atlantis is that it was a highly advanced civilization that possessed advanced technology and knowledge. According to this theory, Atlantis was an ancient utopia that existed in a state of peace and prosperity for centuries, thanks to its advanced technology and enlightened philosophy. This idea was first popularized in the late 19th and early 20th centuries by the Theosophical Society, a spiritualist movement founded by the Russian occultist Helena Blavatsky. Blavatsky and her followers believed that Atlantis was a highly advanced civilization that possessed knowledge of ancient technologies, such as anti-gravity devices, crystals, and other forms of advanced energy. This idea was later popularized by writers such as Edgar Cayce, who claimed to have received psychic visions of Atlantis, and James Churchward, who claimed to have discovered ancient tablets in India that described a lost civilization called Mu, which he believed was the same as Atlantis. More recently, the idea of Atlantis as a highly advanced civilization has been popularized by a variety of science fiction and fantasy authors, who have used the concept of the lost city as a backdrop for stories about advanced technology and utopian societies. Despite the popularity of this theory, 
there is little concrete evidence to support the idea that Atlantis was an advanced civilization with access to advanced technologies. While there is evidence to suggest that the ancient Greeks were skilled engineers and builders, there is no evidence to suggest that they possessed any knowledge of technologies that are beyond our current understanding. Further, furthermore, the idea of Atlantis as a utopian society is at odds with the descriptions of the city in Plato's original account. In the Timaeus and Critias, Plato describes Atlantis as a militaristic society that sought to conquer and enslave neighboring nations, hardly the picture of a peaceful utopia. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the idea of Atlantis as an advanced civilization remains a popular and enduring myth. The idea of a lost civilization that possessed knowledge and technology beyond our current understanding continues to inspire writers, artists, and dreamers around the world, and to capture our imaginations with the possibility of a lost world waiting to be rediscovered. One of the most enduring mysteries surrounding the lost city of Atlantis is its location. While Plato provides a detailed description of the city and its surroundings in the Timaeus and Critias, he does not specify where Atlantis was located. Over the centuries, countless theories have been proposed regarding the location of Atlantis. Some have suggested that it was located in the Mediterranean, while others have placed it in the Atlantic or the Caribbean. Still, others have proposed more exotic locations, such as Antarctica, the Sahara Desert, or even on another planet. One of the most famous theories regarding the location of Atlantis is the idea that it was located in the Atlantic Ocean. This theory was first proposed in the late 19th century by the American politician and writer Ignatius Donnelly, who argued that Atlantis was a lost continent that had once spanned the Atlantic, connecting Europe and the Americas. Donnelly's theory was based on a variety of evidence, including similarities between the cultures and legends of the Old and New Worlds, as well as alleged physical evidence, such as ancient maps and the presence of megalithic structures on both sides of the Atlantic. While Donnelly's theory was widely popular at the time, it has since been largely discredited by modern scholars. There is little to no archaeological or geological evidence to suggest that a lost continent ever existed in the middle of the Atlantic, and the similarities between the cultures of the Old and New Worlds can be easily explained by more mundane factors, such as trade and migration. More recent theories regarding the location of Atlantis have focused on more specific areas, such as the Mediterranean or the Aegean Sea. Some researchers have proposed that Atlantis was located on the island of Crete, which was home to a sophisticated civilization known as the Minoans, who were known for their advanced art and architecture. Other researchers have proposed that Atlantis was located on the island of Santorini, which was destroyed by a massive volcanic eruption around 1600 BCE. The destruction of Santorini was a major event in the ancient world and may have served as the inspiration for the story of Atlantis. Despite centuries of speculation, the location of Atlantis remains a mystery. While some theories are more plausible than others, there is still no concrete evidence to support any particular location, and the legend of the lost city will likely continue to captivate and inspire people for centuries to come. Another fascinating aspect of the lost city of Atlantis is its cultural influence. Over the centuries, the story of Atlantis has inspired countless works of literature, art, music, and film, and has become a popular cultural icon in its own right. right. Perhaps the most famous literary work inspired by Atlantis is Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In the novel, Verne's protagonist, Captain Nemo, reveals that he is actually the Prince of Atlantis and that he built his incredible submarine, the Nautilus, using the advanced technology of his lost civilization. The story of Atlantis has also been the subject of numerous films, including Disney's 2001 animated feature, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, which tells the story of a group of adventurers who discover a hidden city in the depths of the ocean. In the world of music, the story of Atlantis has inspired numerous songs and albums, including Donovan's 1968 album The Hurdy Gurdy Man, which features the song Atlantis, and the heavy metal band Iron Maiden's 2015 album The Book of Souls, which features a song called Empire of the Clouds, which is loosely based on the story of the Titanic but also references Atlantis. In the art world, the story of Atlantis has been a popular subject for painters and sculptors. One of the most famous examples is the French artist Jules Cyril Caves painting Atlantis, which depicts a colorful and intricate city submerged beneath the waves. Even in the realm of science, the story of Atlantis has had an impact. In the 19th century, the concept of a lost civilization with advanced technology and knowledge inspired the Theosophical Society, 
which was founded by the Russian occultist Helena Blavatsky. Blavatsky and her followers believed in the existence of an ancient race of highly advanced beings known as the Masters of the Wisdom, who were said to have lived in a secret underground city called Shambhala or Agartha, which was said to be located beneath the Himalayas. The sto story of Atlantis has had a profound impact on popular culture and has become a symbol of lost knowledge, hidden secrets, and utopian ideals. While the legend of the lost city may never be fully resolved, its enduring legacy will continue to inspire and captivate people for generations to come. One of the most intriguing aspects of the story of Atlantis is the way it has been used to promote various political and ideological agendas throughout history. From the ancient Greeks to the modern era, people have interpreted the story of Atlantis in a variety of ways to support their own beliefs and values. For example, in ancient Greece, the story of Atlantis was often used to promote the idea of Greek superiority and to justify the conquest of other cultures. According to the Greek philosopher and historian Strabo, the story of Atlantis was invented by the ancient poets and transmitted by the priests as a way to assert the greatness of Greece over other cultures. In the 19th century, the story of Atlantis was used by some European intellectuals to promote the idea of racial superiority and imperialism. According to these theorists, Atlantis was a lost civilization of Aryan or Nordic people who had spread their culture and knowledge throughout the world. They believed that the Aryan race was superior to all others and that they had a duty to conquer and civilize other peoples. The Nazis, in particular, were very interested in the story of Atlantis and incorporated it into their propaganda. The Nazis believed that the Aryan race was descended from the Atlanteans and that they had a special destiny to rule the world. In the 20th century, the story of Atlantis was used by some New Age and occult groups to promote the idea of a coming age of enlightenment and spiritual transformation. According to these groups, Atlantis was a highly advanced civilization that had achieved a state of spiritual and technological perfection. They believed that it had been destroyed because of its moral decay and that the only way to prevent a similar fate for humanity was to embrace a new spiritual paradigm. In recent years, the story of Atlantis has been used by some environmentalists and advocates for sustainable living to promote the idea of a utopian society that lives in harmony with nature. According to these theorists, Atlantis was a society that lived in balance with its environment and that its downfall was caused by a disregard for the natural world. They believe that we can learn from the mistakes of the Atlanteans and create a new society that is sustainable and just. The story of Atlantis has been interpreted in a variety of ways throughout history, and its legacy continues to inspire and provoke debate. Whether seen as a cautionary tale, a source of spiritual wisdom, or a symbol of racial superiority, the story of Atlantis remains a fascinating and enigmatic part of our cultural heritage. Thank you for watching, subscribe our channel and see you in the next episodes.